All right, I want to show you guys a bit more about jade, and this really matters when you're picking a big block. So, jade has like a, like a head and a tail to it, almost like a teardrop, and that has to do with the pressure in the earth because, again, not geologist, but I'll try and explain this the best I can. You've got, uh, you've got it where the rock almost slumps out, so it's got all that pressure and it's building up and bulges the head, and when it squeezes and slowly pushes out, it squashes the back end into a tail. The best part of the jade is the head, and the worst part that's usually delaminating is the tail. So if you're watching my videos, great, you can come pick a good boulder. If you don't watch my videos, you may not know what one to pick. So let me show you the concept. You'll never really see it in the small boulders because the small boulders that you see inside our tent here, those are ones that have been cut up or they're just smaller pieces that fell off of a larger boulder. So let me explain uh, with the heads and the tails, for example. Here we can see the, the shape of it, tapers. So this is telling us it's more of a tail piece. And sometimes the tail pieces are good. Sometimes they're actually genuinely really good. Um, but statistically, the head pieces are better. So let me find some more tails here. Uh, this one actually, this is a great example of a tail end. You can see how, how it's tapering in the back there. And then the back part here is delaminating. So that's literally what I was trying to explain. And as you get closer to the front and the piece that we would have cut off here, this is probably the best area of the boulder that would have been there. Um, and I can show you with a quick spray of water to you know, just get you a window in. There's things like this, like weathering that you don't want to be concerned with. And of course, we obviously have better boulders than this. Just some people are on a budget. Um, and so we have all different grades for you. But this one, it's still pretty good jade throughout, but from there back, you're starting to deal with a lot of structural issues. In the front here too, big cracks. So overall, not the best boulder, but a great example of a tail towards the head area. Um, and that happens in boulders the sizes of trucks too. We usually cut the boulder right in half where we scoop the head off and the tail, so you kind of get a window right into the head bit. Um, and you'll also you'll see the back end too. This is a tail piece, and I'll get Rick to walk around it here and you'll see the back point over there. So hopefully that's coming through if you do a bit of a sky view on it too. So does it come through? All right, so when you see those points, generally think those are the tails and it may not be the best jade. Not always the case, sometimes it's the best, but, uh, but think of that, the process of how it's made with that heat and pressure and then it kind of plopping out and just kind of the last bit squishing there. So um, head and tail, those are kind of the structure of the J boulder.